the element of command focuses on the things which we can orchestrate as an organization, the skills that our teams can bring to the table and our developers can rightfully say, we own this, it's ours. It's the geography that a military holds as part of their ability to engage an enemy. It is the ability for an officer to give specific orders and know that those orders are, are going to be carried out because the people who are part of the organization have the capacity, the skills, and the indoctrination, as well as the time and resources to do those things. More importantly than that is that it's a sense that we can orchestrate these events. Here are the things that we as a company can do to change the future. We, our partners, our allies can do to either maintain the status quo, if that's what we're deciding to do, or engage with specific goals and specific tasks that will manifest as objectives that we've prioritized. So the nature of command as an element is that it focuses on what we are capable of doing. Now, when we're talking about strategic thinking, command can be a little bit dangerous because as an element, we may overestimate how much command we have over those events, how much our people can actually do in the time and given the resources that they have, how well our people have been taught and are able to engage in whatever it is they need to engage in, whether it's salespeople, marketers, doesn't matter. So the element of command has first and foremost, that sense of this is what I control. Now in the military, there's an a concept called command and control, C2. And C2, command and control, focuses on the ability of a commander to give orders to underlings and say, go do this thing. And they are able to do it. Why? Because the officer knows that he is in control of the upcoming orchestration of events. He feels like I, as the person in charge of the upcoming iteration, the upcoming series know that if we do things like I said, this is what should come out. And that brings us to a concept called mission control. Mission control, which is another concept, concept we'll talk about in depth later, focuses on the idea that I, as a commander, am not going to give orders and tell you how I expect things to go, but I'm going to say, here was here's the objective and here are the goals that you are responsible for. And I'm going to take a chance and trust that you're capable of undertaking those missions without my interference without my micromanaging events. Now, it's important to recognize command isn't just about being able to dictate specific events and say, here's what I can control. In the military, to be able to say, I command a strategically important geographic location is to say, I have the ability to control events in this geographic area. And that has huge ramifications on the ability to maneuver and what it means for us to be able to orchestrate events beyond the areas that we command. And very often moving beyond those areas that we command, the areas which sometimes might be called our comfort zone if we're talking about a business, an area that we feel most comfortable working in, and moving out of that comfort zone, out of that geographic location, and engaging with chance, which has a lot of different aspects to it. I'll see you in that next element.